hope you all are well. The first thing I'm doing is taking a little bit of my face powder and I'm going to set my lids to prep them for the powder shadows that are to come. So when I do my brows, I use concealer to carve out the shape and then I blend the concealer from the brow bone down onto the lid just to hide any discoloration that appears there. And I'm using one brush today and it's one that came in the iconic bronze set, the Cut Crease Queen set, and it's just a nice tapered brush. So palette wise I'm using the sleek Eye Divine Level Up eyeshadow palette and the first shade I'm taking is that nice matte pink on the bottom row, the first shade there. And I picked this up on the side of that brush and I'm starting out just by patting and pressing this across the eyelid and then I'm going to wriggle my brush over and back and just blend it across the lid. So we're just going to work on getting that colour on there first and then we can fine tune things later on. I'm dipping back into that shadow now and I'm adding a second layer, just packing it onto the lid again and then I'm using the tip of the brush just to start to pull that shadow up into the crease and I'm going to start blending it across there. So I like to wing my shadow out as opposed to rounding it off and I kind of just pretend there is an imaginary line there, one that runs at an angle from the edge of the lash line to the tail of the brow and I just keep the shadow within that area, I don't blend outside of there. Some people might like to use a bit of tape or a card or something of that sort but I prefer a softer line if you will so I just try and keep within that frame but yeah so this shadow is just going to give us a really nice wash of colour to begin with. Next then I'm going to dip back into that pink shade picking up a little bit more of it on the tip of the brush and then I'm going to start sweeping it down along the lower lash line and when you're using a brush like this one that's less dense let's say than a bullet shaped brush or a pencil brush you're going to have to build up the shadow a little bit more because a fluffier brush is just going to apply less product so I'm adding a second layer of this shade now again just sweeping it down along there and making sure that it connects up with the shadow above. The final shadow now I'm taking is that dark brown on the top row. I'm picking up a little again on the tip of the bristles and I'm starting by sweeping this into the lash line on the outer third of the lid and that's where I'm going to focus the majority of this colour and then I'm just going to fade it out. So like before I'm going to build this up in a few layers just for a couple of reasons. Uh, one because of the type of brush like I discussed a moment ago and two because I want the pink to be the overall focus of this look and I just want the brown to add a little depth and dimension. I don't want it to overpower the look at all. So applying the brown in this way as well from the lash line and angling it up to the crease and fading it out towards the tail of the brow is going to give the eyes a really nice lift and complement that elongated look that we were going for. I would say I went in maybe four times or so with this shade. I just gradually built it up and blended it out, made sure to loop it up into the crease as well, just fading it across there. But as I mentioned, mainly I'm keeping it to the outer edge of the eye. So then I'm going to pick up a little bit more brown and I'm now focusing on the lower lash line. So I'm just keeping the majority of this shade to the outer third and then when I have little to no product left on my brush, I'm fading it across the lash line just to blend it in with the pink that I applied previously. So I want to smoke out the shadow a little bit more so I'm going back in with a touch of the pink on my brush and I'm just running this underneath the brown and just smoking everything out once again. So for the waterline, I'm going to add a nice bit of brightness. I'm taking this pencil from Wet n Wild. It's marketed as a brow highlighter, but I actually really like it as a liner. And one thing I will say, if you're going to be working with pink, you don't want the eyes to look red and irritated. So I find adding something light and bright to the waterline just helps to combat that. So I've added some of the Eyelore Smoky Lashes now and I'm loving this style at the moment. I'm then using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara to blend my own lashes in with those false ones and then I'm using the tip of that wand to coat the bottom lashes. So I typically tend to I suppose limit um, the bottom mascara just to the outer edge because I find with my lashes it can tend to look a little bit spidery or silly and if I've over applied I just uh, use a spoolie just to brush the lashes through and calm it down a bit but yeah then that's it so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all soon.